we were expecting our third child. And we were very excited. We had um, two older children, a, a six-year-old and a four-year-old. Had a very healthy pregnancy. Our previous pregnancies had been very healthy. So everything was very, very normal. We went to the clinic for a routine ultrasound and they couldn't find a heartbeat. And at first they thought that maybe it was just the baby was turned funny or something like that. They weren't very alarmed. And so they took me back for um, an ultrasound and that is when um, we found out the devastating news that that's every parent's worst fear and that was that there was no heartbeat. I went in on Monday morning, bright and early, with my family to deliver the baby. That was really hard. Um, I can remember looking at my nurse and saying, I don't want to do this. And finally, I, I got my baby boy, and he weighed um, just a little over a pound, and it looked a whole lot like his older brother. So I spent about two hours with him, and then they had to take him from me. And that was one of the more difficult moments was when I um, handed him off to the nurse because I knew that that was it. Um, and so handing your child to a stranger and knowing that you'll never see him again is something that nobody should have to do. I knew about the loss of Davis. We talked about that. What I did not know was that she had come to the foundation and they had put $500 seed money, not knowing what they were going to do with it, and time had passed to where she was ready to do something with that money. There are several things that we do for memory making for these families, and it starts in labor and delivery. They will give them a memory box, which they can put a lock of hair, um, can make some moldings, that then comes out to the mother baby floor, and those nurses uh, will present that family with what we call a grace bag. In that is a journal. There is a teddy bear because when they go home, they want something to hold. The time the family has with their baby is so limited. It's very special and very important. So we want to help families make the very most of whatever time they get with their baby. One of the ways that we've done that is we've placed cuddle cots um, at the hospital. And this extends that time so families get longer with their child than they otherwise would have had. Between our training programs for our medical community, uh, the Twilight Run, and our support group now, when a family experiences this kind of loss, they know they're not alone and they know that there's a whole community behind them and that their child's life mattered, that their grief matters, um, that they matter, and that they don't have to go through this by themselves. These families want their baby to be remembered. They want their birthday remembered, the name remembered, and however short that life is, they want that baby to have an impact. And that's what Heaven's Cradle is doing. It's having an impact. I feel very fortunate that I have met so many friends um, who have lived through this, some before me, some after me. Um, it's a club no one wants to be a part of, but I'm very thankful that I have these women in my life because they get it in a way that nobody else gets it. And you need somebody who gets it when you're having to live every day without your child. Thankfully, most people never have to understand that.